coloring and illustrated pages, fun cards, and stickers that will help you teach and practice the phonograms. Let's take a look at the coloring pages first. Each of the phonograms has a corresponding coloring page. You will notice that the graphics are the same as the ones in the ABC's book, Fun Guide, and elsewhere. This further reinforces the visual while incorporating kinesthetic learning. Present one phonogram coloring page at a time or collect all in the group you are working on. We have created illustrated pages for several reasons. It's a natural progression from coloring to drawing. Secondly, it's an early stage of comprehension and vocabulary development. Talk about the sentence or phrase at the bottom of the page. And an example, let's read this sentence. Cut the center. Where is the center? What does center mean? How can we draw a picture that shows a center? Where is the center of your forehead? Now remember, depending on the developmental level and skill of your artist, the drawings may take on very different appearances. Do you have someone who doesn't like to draw or has trouble physically? Can you find a picture that shows a center and glue it on the page? Another reason? It's fun to draw and it's a great activity. But we all know that drawing and coloring isn't for everybody, so it's okay to skip this resource. Fun cards. Okay, okay, they're flashcards, but we just don't like the connotation that the word flashcard carries. Here's how we like to create our fun cards. Use cardstock for more stability. Print off the fronts in color. Either turn the sheet over or use a separate sheet and print out the backs, the phonograms, in black. Cut the cards out along the gray lines. If using two sheets, coordinate the back and front and glue them together. For extra durability, laminate the cards. Now here is why they're more than flashcards. They are useful and fun. Use the phonogram side of the fun cards as tiles for blending, decoding, and encoding spelling words. Print out two sets so you can play a matching game and match the phonograms to the pictures. Place the fun cards with the phonogram side face up. Choose a card and show the phonogram side to your partner. Have your partner describe the picture on the opposite side. This activates another pathway, one which has to recall the graphic from the memory center. Or just the reverse. Keep the deck in your hands out of sight. Pull out a card and describe what's on it. I'm holding a card with two boys that are arguing and Wordy is trying to break them up. What is that phonogram? Stickers and award sheets. When you download this file, you will see a description of the labels you can buy to create sticker books. I suggest printing out the pages, not just the group that you are working on, because you never know when your reader will surprise you with mastering a phonogram beyond what you are targeting. And let the fun begin and the confidence level soar.